Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Simplified Triple Studies. In this session, I'll be discussing most important questions from module one for the subject control systems. If you are watching my channel first time, I request you to subscribe. Uh, at the end of the at the end of the session, if the video is really useful, kindly share the video with your friends and relatives. Moving on to the discussion. So, what are all the important questions from module one for the subject control system? The first one is actually, uh, this is one of the common questions I have seen in several question paper, almost five times, five to six times I have seen. It distinguish between open loop and uh, closed loop control system. Very, very important question. Uh, you need to explain, uh, like, uh, for example, uh, the simple examples of open loop and a closed loop system and with a block diagram so that uh, you can convince the examiner in a better manner. Second one is list the requirement of an ideal control system, like high speed, high accuracy. Okay, those things you can mention. Uh, derive the transfer function of armature control DC motor. So with the help of uh, diagram, first of all, you are supposed to draw the diagram. Based upon that, you need to define the transfer function. Correct. There are derivation. I have already made the video of this. I I'll share the link of that particular video in the description box. Kindly go through that. Uh, with the neat block diagram, define the open loop and closed loop control system. It's a repeated question. Here. Several number of times it are repeated. So I request you to go through this particular question because most of the examination you can see these kind of questions. Okay. Also, I'll show the notes which I prepared. If you want, I will share the link of the notes so that you can download. What are the control? What are the con uh, what is control system? Define the control system. Meaning of control system. Then compare open loop and closed loop control system. See, say a repeated question. Repeat. Kindly note down. Okay, it's a repeated question. What do you mean by AC servo motor? Explain AC servo motors, AC servo mechanism. Okay, what is AC servo mechanism? You need to explain with the help of a block diagram. Uh, explain the synchros. What is synchro and how synchro will act as an error dictator? This is also another theory question. What are the components of a closed loop control system? Mainly you have to talk about like a system a feedback. Okay, uh, summer. Everything you have to explain. Some summer block. Okay. How the feedback, How what about the error? Okay, how the error is actually a desired output, actual output, difference between desired output and actual output. Like that you can uh, mention about the closed loop control system. So another important question is actually called, what are the effect of negative feedback in control systems? What are the requirement of a good control system? Accur high speed, high accuracy, zero errors. Uh, what are the merits and demerits of closed loop control system? You can talk about like accuracy, okay. Uh, uh, frequent monitoring of output then uh, like speed okay then uh, what are the classification of control system mainly you have to talk about like open loop control system and a closed loop control system okay so these are the theory type questions theory theoretical based so one more question i have noticed like what is transfer function it is a laplace transform of output to the input of a particular system what are the limitations of a transfer transfer, transfer function that also you can explain so here uh, like a uh, numerical example there are so many numerical example like uh, force voltage analogy, force current analogy like that. First of all, you have to derive the e equations, okay? So you need to uh, know about uh, different elements like the dashboard. This is dashboard and this element is known as spring, okay? Uh, so you should have a good idea about those, those, those elements. So mass, spring, damper system. This is mass, spring, damper system. So based on that, you have to derive the expression. Then uh, you, can, you can follow force voltage analogy. You may uh, you may expect another question like a force current analogy. So there are set of procedures I explained in one video. If you want, I will share the video link also. Okay. So this is most important. Definitely many of the examination I have seen these kind of questions. Question number 15, you can see. If I talk about question number 15, draw the equivalent mechanical network using force voltage analogy for the given circuit. This is an electrical circuit. You need to convert into um, uh, like a mechanical diagram, like a mass spring damper, uh, da damp, uh, ML, like a mass, then spring damper system. This diagram you are supposed to convert. And afterwards, you can make out like a FE, force voltage analogy. And uh, you can see a rotational system. There are two types of system. One is translation system. Other one is called a rotational system. For the mechanical translation system shown in figure two, uh, draw the electrical network based on the torque current analogy. Okay, torque. Uh, so you might have studied about like a translation system and a rotation system. As you can see, this is a rotation system. You need to mention about like a uh, torque current analogy. This is also one of the important questions. You may expect it. Okay, you may expect this kind of numerical example. I have already worked out so many, so many examples in my channel. I will share the link of that particular video. 
for the mechanical system shown in figure Q and B, draw the mechanical network and obtain a false voltage analogous electrical, electrical circuit. Mechanical network shown in Q2C, uh, you have to derive false uh, current analogous system. Then uh, another another important question is, you can refer the read the question, construct the mechanical model for the mechanical system, draw the electrical equivalent network shown in the false voltage analogy. So this is regarding uh, like uh, you need to draw the force voltage analogy for the given electrical circuit. That electrical parameter you need to convert in the mechanical system. Okay. Then then only we can apply like a force current analogy and a force voltage analogy. So this is another question. Uh, same that of like you need to derive torque current analogy because it's a rotational system, right? Yeah. So these are the important questions. So I'll uh, uh, scroll down my notes which I prepared. If you really uh, want that particular note, kindly uh, let me know. I will uh, definitely I will uh, put in my drive. And uh, just, a, just a moment. So you can go through my uh, handwritten notes. Con what is control system? One of the question. Uh, an interconnection of components forming a system configure that will provide the desired response. That is called a control system. Simple block diagram. We have a input signal, output signal. Uh, there is an energy source. Okay. So this, this is one of the question. Meaning of system, meaning of control system C. That is one of the question I think you have seen. Okay, system plus control, it becomes control system. Examples, examples of control system. Okay, uh, then uh, terminology, different terminologies. Those things that I can go through that. Okay, then open loop control system. See, control action is independent of output. That is called the uh, open loop control system. See, block diagram of open loop control system. Uh, how it is uh, mentioned. Examples also I have mentioned. Advantage, economic, easy to maintain, high, no stability issue, drawback, inaccurate, unreliable. Those things you can go through that. Examples of open loop control system, traffic light controller, then electric switch, automatic washing machine, uh, then a sprinkler used in water lawn or agricultural field, automatic toaster system, all are comes under like the uh, open loop control system. If I talk about closed loop control system, you can see the feedback control system. See how it is, how does it work? Okay, this diagram you are expected to mention in the answers. Okay, mm, uh, this is very important. Then uh, feedback element, different elements they ask, like uh, errors, feedback element, those things so you have to highlight. Okay, comparator, you, you require a comparator, error, error detector. Okay, feedback can be either positive or negative. So if you talk about positive feedback, how the diagram will look like. Okay, uh, the uh, see positive and negative feedback you have to highlight. Advantage, high accuracy, uh, like a uh, system response with, uh, with respect to changes in the environment, reduced uh, non-linearity, high bandwidth, facilitate automation, Drawback is co uh, like complicated design. Maintenance is costlier. Unstable condition. Then uh, real-time applications. Human being, like brain of human being will act as a closed-loop system. Then automatic hum uh, heating system. So these are the examples. Like you can see like a ship stabilization system. Okay. Then DC speed motor control. Speed control of DC motor. Temperature control system. All are actually co uh, generally called a uh, closed-loop system. Comparison. Open-loop and closed-loop system. You can go through that. This is very, very important. Feedback does not require an open loop, where feedback is used in closed loop. Uh, then output measurement is not required for open loop. Output measurement is required for closed loop. So feedback element is absent, where feedback element is present in the opposite side. Uh, error detector is absent in open loop. Error detector is necessary for closed loop. Inaccurate, where it is highly accurate. So those differences you have, you have to mention, at least 10 differences. Bandwidth is small, high bandwidth for closed loop. Okay, cheap, it is costly for like a closed loop. Stable in nature, unstable in nature. In, uh, like uh, what we can say, uh, close to advantages of negative feedback. So negative feedback reduces the time constant of the system, improvement of the response, overall gain of the system uh, can be controlled by negative feedback. So uh, th these are the peculiarity of negative feedback. It reduces the effect of disturbances, okay, effect of noises, etc. Requirement of a good control system, high accuracy, high sensitivity, high stability, bandwidth, speed, oscillation, etc. Okay, transfer uh, function definition. Okay, you can refer the transfer function definition. Uh, then what is the meaning of transfer function? I have mentioned it. You go through that. Okay, uh, it will be very easy only. Advantages, what are the advantages? Mathematical model of the system, analysis of the various components. Okay, uh, then uh, drawback, what are the drawback? One of the questions, no, only applicable to linear system, LTA system, linear time invariant system. It is not suitable for non-linear system. Effect of initial conditions are neglected. That is another setback of uh, transfer function. Those differences you have to uh, note down and it will be helpful for the exam point of view. Mathematical modeling, detailed mathematical modeling has been explained. Okay, so 
uh, like a translational system and a rotational system. What are the differences in translational system and rotational system? Different elements in translation motion, mass spring, a damper system. Okay, uh, how some derivation, basic equations which are required for mass, how to convert into, uh, like uh, we need to convert into Laplace transform. Okay, in spring also there are uh, important equations required for uh, solving the problem. Uh, damper or dashboard system also we require. Okay, so kindly go through that everybody. Uh, this is most important fundamentals. Later, you need to know how to develop, how to uh, write the mechanical equation for a given system. That is also explained very clearly. Okay. I'm scrolling down just for your reference. If you want, you can pause the video and you can note down. And how to write the equation, how you taking the Laplace transform, then taking the ratio of output to the input, then you will be getting like a transfer function. Okay. So these are the things. So there are so many examples I have worked out for your reference. Uh, afterwards, what I discussed is uh, uh, you can go. Uh, so, so many examples are there. There are so many examples I worked out. Mechanical rotational system also. In that moment of inertia, dashboard and uh, uh, spring spring stiffness K, uh, JBK, JBK. Okay, that is considered. Okay, then how to convert translation system and rotational system? The differences are given. Sometimes they may ask the differences. Okay, so kindly go through that. Then torque equation. Okay, how to uh, like uh, write the torque equations? Okay, those things are most important. Uh, you please go through that, solve one or two examples, how to formulate the general equations, okay? Then uh, it will be easy for you to formulate it. Then force uh, like uh, uh, electrical system and mechanical system, all the videos are available. It's already available in my YouTube channel. You can go through that. Even I will, I'm ready to put up in the link uh, in, in, the, in the description box. You can go through that, okay? If you need this particular note, do let me know. Based on your requirement, I will upload, okay? Analog system, what is analog system? Analog like a force voltage and force current analog system. Okay, the differences also given. Okay, mm, that also please. This table is very very important. You have to remember this table. Okay, most important force voltage and force current analog, especially in the like a uh, uh, conversion. You refer this table and you can uh, do the conversion accordingly. Okay, so these kind of questions I think you might have seen in the question paper. Try to solve it first of all. Solve normally later conversion. After conversion, what you can do? Take the transfer function. See, force voltage analog. M1 become L1. V1 become I1. K1 become 1 by C1. V1 to become R1 to resistance. Uh, force become E. E means voltage. Like that. Understood? No. So like that you can follow. Ultimately, you have to draw the diagram. Force voltage and force current. Okay. So remember this. Same method is adopted. Okay. Same method is adopted. Similarly, uh, electrical analogs of mechanical rotation system. So uh, torque voltage analog, torque current analog. Same manner, the conversion will be uh, similar for like a uh, uh, torque, uh, like a rotational system also. So please uh, be aware about how to convert, how to adjust. Okay. So those things you have to go through that. So there are so many numerical examples. If you want, you please scroll down. Uh, whenever you require, you can uh, pause it and you can work out. Okay. Detail note, it's my handwritten notes. I haven't typed actually only the handwritten notes. That is what some, like uh, as you can see, some um, my handwriting sometimes may not be good. Okay. Uh, so... We can uh, go through that once. Post current analogy, there are examples I have mentioned. Servo mechanism, see servo mechanism. How does servo mechanism operate? One of the question you might have seen that. What is a servo mechanism? This block diagram is important for you. Then the servo motors, okay. So what is servo motor? What is AC servo motor? DC servo motor applications, okay. Uh, those uh, points you need to keep in your mind. DC servo motor, AC servo motor, details of AC servo motor, comparison, okay. Those block diagram, uh, all the things are necessary for you. Even Synchro also. I prepared a detailed video on Synchro also. So if you have any queries, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Prepare very well for your examination. So, uh, so I request you to subscribe our channel and uh, if the video is useful, kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.